A night behind the wheel takes a dangerous turn for a cab driver. He survives being carjacked and dragged along the side of his car. The man he says attacked him was no stranger to trouble. Eric Feldman joins us now with his terrifying story. Eric? Yeah, and Ernest Grinley tells me on July 11th, he thought he was going to die. He tells police, tells us that police tracked that his cab got all the way to Chicago, and now he's learning more about the man who attacked him who just happened to be released from prison hours earlier. For 20 years, Ernest Greenlee has driven his cab, but his walk in is just not that easy. Out of the 20 beautiful years, first time anything have ever happened to me. The swelling, the bruising, reminders of July 11th when he looked like this. I could see death. Greenlee picked up a man at the Amtrak station in downtown St. Louis. He needed to cash a check, so Greenlee drove this man around as place after place rejected the check. After an hour and a half, Greenlee knew he needed to pick up another client, so he went to this BP gas station off Jefferson to drop this man off. What he did not know was anything about the man who was sitting behind him, David Twine just released on parole from prison in Illinois that day for murder. We never had a uh, horse word. But when Greenlee asked for his money, it changed in a flash. He was punching me and beating me up on this arm. The 77-year-old Greenlee fought back and tried to get out of the car. He got caught on the seatbelt. Twine hopped into the driver's seat and hit the gas, dragging Greenlee down Jefferson Avenue. At that point, uh, I just, I didn't, I didn't see nothing else but to give up. And in that moment, the seatbelt released, he says, an act of God. In the book of Job, he said that he may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. He's a man of faith, a pastor, a grandfather. I enjoy what I do. And he is and will remain a cab driver. According to the Illinois Department of Corrections website, Twine is now in custody.